Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Now today I'm very excited because this is a very special episode where I'm introducing a new series called Revams and Renovation. And as you can tell from the title, episode one is going to be about Mercedes-Benz because you guys might know Mercedes is one of my favorite brands of all time. Actually, you guys might not know that because we always talk about top three and my top three is Dodge, Aston, Porsche in that order. But what comes in fourth? It's Mercedes-Benz. My top four is Dodge, Aston, uh, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz, and I think it goes like Chevrolet. That's like a top five. But yeah, Mercedes-Benz is so underrated, not only in the game, but on my channel. I don't talk about it enough. And the main reason for that is because the current selection of Mercedes-Benzes in top drives are incredibly outdated, and they are in need of a revamp and a renovation. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. I'm going to be showing you some custom cars made by some very talented people so shout out to two guys for they were the brains behind the cars that I'm going to show you today the first one is Saab you might know him he's been in all, most of my streams and you've probably heard him a couple times but not recently because his microphone has been really bad um, and then uh, another shout out is to Alex Top Drives both of their Instagrams will be in the link in the description below or their links will be in the description below these guys are super 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 talented and you need to check them out so without further ado guys, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you my hand-picked selections of what I think would be some of the most exciting Mercedes-Benz models to come into the game, aka some of my favorites. I'll have clubs playing in the background, but we're gonna start with the first one right here, the Mercedes-Benz 420 SEL. Now I know what you're thinking, why, why is this included in Blossom's list of excitement? This is actually my favorite Mercedes of all time. There you go, it's also my first love. Everybody knows that my favorite car of all time currently is a 1969 Dodge Charger. It's been that way since 2011. However, I had a favorite car before that. It was actually the Shelby Cobra and the Shelby GT500. But before that, it was actually the Plymouth Superbird. But before that, it was the uh, Pontiac Trans Am. But before for that, it was the Mercedes-Benz 420 SEL. This is like my first ever favorite car. I remember when I was like a toddler, when I was an infant, the first thing that I pointed to was a red Mercedes-Benz 420 SEL, red maroon, like that exact color. This was my first love. I remember when we left the house, whenever my mom sent me to school, uh, there were always two routes that we could take. Um, one route had a, was a house that had a red Mercedes Mercedes-Benz parked outside. It was the 420 SEL. And the other route was a blue Mercedes-Benz that was parked outside. So I would always play a game with my mom. This wasn't when I was an infant anymore. This was when I was like a toddler so I could speak and stuff. It was a toddler or like a kindergartner. And my mom would always be like, oh, do you want to go the red route or the blue route? And I always said red. Always red, baby. The 420 SEL. I love this car. It looks so beautiful. I think it's so cool. Amazing picture and shout out to Saab for making this. So as you can see here, it has a top speed of 137, 8.10 to 60 and 67 handling medium ground clearance, obviously standard tires at RQ29. Now to be completely honest, if this car was added into the game and I really hope it does because I would hoard the hell out of this, um, it wouldn't be a fantastic uncommon. It wouldn't be a key common by any, by any means. Okay. A standard tire car with handling that low with an RQ that high, I mean it's the highest for its rarity of uncommon, right? Isn't going to be too useful, but one direct rival for the Mercedes-Benz 420 SEL is most likely going to be the BMW 728i, which has 8.70 to 60 and 70 handling. So this has a lower 0 to 60, but it has worse handling compared to the BMW. Anyway, second on the list now, I want to talk about the Mercedes-Benz 250 off veneer Wagon. This was made by Alex Top Drive. Shout out to him. He makes some really fantastic cards. Completely underrated. I know I've had a couple custom card guys on my channel, like Shinji. He's the OG. I've had Quarantine and Age and Saab. But Alex Top Drives, he knows his craft. He makes some really great cards. In fact, he actually won my carbon fiber giveaway for a custom card competition. So, you know. It, 
his pedigree or his resume is pretty stacked. And when I mean pretty stacked, I mean he won a Blossom giveaway, giving a carbon fiber, whatever, you know, however much you want to weight that. But anyway, Mercedes Benz 250 GT. I think this is a pretty cool car. I think it's really nice. Um, obviously, its direct rival would be the Chevy Blazer S10. That is 22.7, 0 to 60, uh, and 52 handling. And for the Mercedes Benz 250 GT, is 22.7. That doesn't seem right. I think I put the Mercedes 0 to 60 in my notes when the Chevy had a different 0 to 60. So the Chevy has whatever 0 to 60 it has and 52 handling, and the Mercedes has 22.7 0 to 60, 58 handling. I mean, the 0 to 60 isn't great by any means, but the handling is actually high for an RQ22 four wheel drive off roader. So that's pretty cool. I'm really interested to see how this would fare in the game uh, as a kind of handling based uncommon uh, off-roader because we don't really have that the Hummer and the Blazer are the only two off-roaders and they both handle like crap so this would be pretty cool if the stats were true moving on now we have our first epic that I want to showcase the Mercedes-Benz AMG DTM let's get some touring cars in here okay um, this I think would be really cool uh, Mercedes-Benz definitely needs some non prize car slick tire representation because right now there's only that SLS GT3 and basically nobody can get it anymore it's already came out twice and i don't think it will come out a third time for at least another year and a half to two years so yeah, let's have some mercedes-benz slick tire representation reynold has it um dodge does dodge have a slick tire i don't think think so, but Ford has it. So Mercedes-Benz definitely deserves it as well. 186 top speed, 4.50 to 60 and 86 handling. Once again, this car was made by Alex. So were the stats. Now, I love Mercedes-Benz, but I'm not like on a god Mercedes-Benz level, like maybe Mbong. So I'm not sure if this car actually deserves 86 handling. I mean, for a car that is, you know, made for deterring DTM and has like no ground clearance, you would think it would have more than 86 handling, but for now we're gonna go with the stats 4.5, 86, and 186. I'm sure Alex did his research. Um, I did try and find the skid pad results for the Mercedes-Benz C AMG DTM online, but you know, for cars like this, especially from the 90s, I could not find it. So going off these stats, I think the closest rival I could find would be the Alfa Romeo 155 BTCC, which is a prize car. I don't think that this would be a prize car. Hopefully not, because like I said, Mercedes-Benz needs some slick tires, uh, motorsport cars that everybody can unpack. And I think this would be a pretty good one because it doesn't seem too overpowered, but it's still incredibly cool. Uh, moving on now, I want to talk about the next two cars. They are both estates. The first one is the Mercedes-AMG C55 Estate, 155 top speed. Everybody knows that number. It's limited. 5.20 to 60 and 75 handling. And alongside this car would be the Mercedes-AMG E53 formatic, 155 top speed once again, 4.30 to 60, 82 handling, and four wheel drive. I'm pretty sure that both of them are gonna be medium ground clearance as well. That's one thing that Mercedes can bring to the table, or one of the many things that Mercedes can bring to the table if Hutch gave the brand a revamp, and that is estate cars. Mercedes Benz has a lot of estate cars, and there are not a lot of estate cars in the game currently. It's like, I think the current estate collection is like, well, a couple of Mercedes Benz is like one Cadillac and like an Audi to 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 my uh, and like one I think Jag maybe the the current saloon collection in uh, not saloon but the current estate collection in club uh, in, in top drives not in clubs but in top drives is actually really poor so I think Mercedes can really you know up the level on that tag with these two cars they're looking really cool um, obviously once again a lot of the Mercedes Benzes in the game are rear wheel drive but they make a bunch of you know four wheel drive cars too with the whole formatic thing going on so you know this would be a great one to add into that four wheel drive pool although I'm not a fan of four wheel drive in the game it definitely adds to the variety of the brand moving on on now, our first legendary that I want to showcase. This one's a nice one. Mercedes AMG GT 63S. Okay, 195 top speed, 2.90 to 60, 86 handling, and four wheel drive. Now I know what you're thinking. Judging from the picture, is the Mercedes AMG GT 63 medium ground clearance or not? Unfortunately, the answer is no. I searched it up online, and the GT 63S, as well as the GT 53S both have, according to Google, 
a ground clearance of 116 millimeters. So four millimeters off the mark, 120. I can't remember anymore. Is the limit 120 or 132? Hutch changes it up all the time, so I'm not sure. But regardless, you know, 116 is under both of those numbers. So this is going to get low ground clearance. That being said though, a direct rival to this beautiful machine would be the BMW M5 competition. And obviously this Mercedes is going to take the cake. They have the same zero to 60, but the Mercedes has higher top speed and because it's a Mercedes, it's an AMG, you know it's going to have better MRA. That's the thing that makes me really excited about Mercs. If Hutch get their numbers right, most of the Mercs should have really good MRA. You know those AMG engines, man. They haul ass. Anyway, moving on, I want to talk about the next three cars that will fill up another category and that is the German all-surface tire niche. Right now, if you go into top drives and you search up German all surface tires and you go into the low end kind of like rares to ultra rares like low end ultra rares you can see there's not a lot of variety in fact there aren't even any rares there right now it's a cesspool of trash because everything that is German and all surface is a Volkswagen and that's like really really bad because that is one of the weakest sections in my garage I hate Volkswagen I don't want to collect them and so there's a lot of other people I mean they other people might not hate the brand but we can't deny that Volkswagen is very boring compared to his German compatriots. So um, these Mercedes will bring a lot to the table in diversifying the German all surface tire collection in the game. So we have the Mercedes Benz ML230, which is, you know, technically the first rare German all surface tire car. 12.5 to the 60, 66 handling. My aunt used to have this car. I had no idea what she did to it, but she used to have it and I thought it was really cool. Um, next up, we have the Mercedes-Benz GLK 220. I feel like a direct rival to this would be one of the Land Rovers or one of the Range Rovers because they don't handle very well these Mercs, but they do have a lower 0-60 to 60 compared to the competition. Like uh, They definitely have lower 0-60s to 60s than the Japanese SUVs. Um, and then last but not least is the Mercedes-Benz GLS 400D 4MATIC AMG line. Now, that is a beautiful picture if I've seen one, but not as good as the next one, which is going to be the Mercedes-Benz G300 Professional. That is a sick picture. Hutch, if you're going to add this car, please use this picture. I, I like just contact Alex Top Drives. His link is in the description if you want to and get this picture from him. I know obviously Alex didn't take this picture, but if you can license this picture, that would be sick because that is a beautiful picture, beautiful card. 105 top speed, 12 uh, seconds, 0 to 60, 65 handling. This would be fantastic. Uh, so sticking with off-roaders, I want to showcase to you this G300. And a direct rival to this car, I would say, would either be the Hummer H3s or, sorry, H2s or the Dodge Ram Charger. There really isn't an RQ41 four-wheel drive off-roader in the game, but there are 40s with the Hummers and 42 with the Dodge Ram Charger. So this kind of will be in a class of its own, but it does have some direct rivals. Uh, going up and down the RQ. Uh, moving on now, I'm just going to show you three more cars. This one is a banger, obviously, the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. You know that Hutch already is thinking about this car because remember during the SLS GT3 finals, they posted the picture uh, where it was promoting the finals, but instead of using the SLS GT3, they used the AMG GT Black Series. So that means that they've already made a uh, render a model for the AMG GT Black Series, which, I mean, to me, it's a dead giveaway that this car is coming to the game, but maybe to other people, it might just be a blatant mistake. But anyway, 202 top speed, 3.10 to 60, 93 handling. I feel like direct rivals to this car would be the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which has 2.90 to 60 and 93 handling, but we can't deny the Black Series would have better MRA. Another car that might rival this is obviously Hollywood, the Viper ACR, 3.4 to 60, but 94 handling. So it would be really cool. We already know the Nurburgring times. I think uh, the uh, Hollywood, uh, her Nurburgring time is like seven sec uh, seven minutes, seven seconds, seven minutes and one second. And I think the Mercedes AMG does it in like six minutes and 40 seconds. So it's a closer rival to the GT3 because I think the GT3 does it in six minutes and 50 seconds. Um, and I know the GT2, the Porsche GT2 RS does it at a way lower time. So uh, regardless, this is a really, really 
really cool card that will be added into the game and hopefully we'll get to see it in the near future. The last two cards I want to end off with, we started off with my favorite Mercedes of all time, the 420 SEL, and I'm going to end this video with two more of my favorite Mercedeses of all time. You will see that I have a thing for 80s Mercedes Benzes. They are really freaking cool. So this one, once again, this one was made by Saab, so shout out to Saab. Mercedes AMG 560 SEC, of course, wide body. Right, 5.70 to 60, 76 handling, 177 top speed. Yeah, it doesn't look like the best ultra rare, but I can guarantee you it will have at least a pretty decent MRA. My guesses would be in the mid to high 80s to the low 90s. These cars, they are really, really powerful and their mid range is insane. If you've ever heard of 560 SEC in real life, you will cream at least I did, because it sounds amazing, it looks amazing, I absolutely love this car. Um, I think the only reason why it isn't my favorite Mercedes of all time is because the 420 SEL exists, and I saw that car before I saw the 560. This though, is my poster car. We always talk about poster cars, right? How, you know, it's always the Ferrari Enzo, or the LaFerrari, or the Bugatti Chiron, or the Aventador. No, for me, my poster car growing up was the 560 60 SEC um among a bunch of Mustangs and Dodge Chargers and all that kind of stuff. It was like literally all my poster cars were muscle cars, but the only like German foreign cars I had on my wall were Mercs and Porsches. It was like this and like the 959. And actually the next car that I want to showcase was also a poster car of mine. And I even had like a 118 scale model car of this. And that is the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL Rally. It is a beautiful machine. Um, I remember I remember in high school, uh, I was in my advanced art class and uh, one thing that we had to do in our advanced art class was to have a senior art show and one of my pieces, obviously my art show was car themed and my main piece was actually a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta but one of my other side pieces was actually the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL Rally. It came in a three set which I actually sold to my friend. Um, there were three cars, it was the 500 SL Rally, it was the Audi Quattro S1 and the last one, I'm trying to think what it is. I think it was the Porsche 924 Rally, but I can't really remember what was the last car in that series anymore. <laughs> I think it was a Porsche 924. I might be wrong, but I know for sure that the first two cars in the series were definitely the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL Rally and uh, the Audi S1 Quattro. It was all German cars. I remember I called it like German engineering. That was the set. It was in black, uh, red, and yellow as well. I mean, the flags of the, the the colors of the German flag. Uh, I I know black, red, and yellow is probably not the German flag colors in order, but I can't I can't think right now. Is it black, red, and yellow? Is it in that order? I'm really good at geography, I swear. It's just that right now, I just can't picture it in my head. Uh, I got Bayern Munich flags all over the place, but no German flags around me. <laughs> I got an American flag back there, though. Everyone knows that. But anyway, that's going to be it, man. Those are all the new Mercs um, that I have chosen. So these are cars that could come to the game if Mercedes-Benz had a revamp. And honestly, they deserve it. They haven't had been touched since 2016, since 2017 or 2016, like ever since Top Drives has been released, Mercedes-Benz has stayed the same. They were one of the OG brands and they were never touched again. So hopefully they will get their day to shine. Obviously some of you might know that I really was excited during European Revolution because I thought it was time for Mercedes to get a revamp, but obviously they didn't and I was really sad. So hopefully, you know, if there was a future update coming, Mercedes-Benz will have its day and if it does, these are some of the cars you might see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. I really had fun. Once again, shout out to Alex Top Drives and Saab for letting me use their creations. If you want to see more of Alex's creations, specifically for Mercedes, because he has made a lot, go check out his Instagram. The link is in the description below. Or if you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll put a link in the description below as well. So that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great day. Oh, actually, I have a question for you all. Let me know down in the comments below what brand do you want me to do next you want me to do nissan maybe or a 
Honda or even Porsche could have a revamp with the new uh, 992 line and uh, the new 935 and the uh, Taycan. So, you know, there's some really cool stuff or even Dodge. I mean, all the Hellcat uh, wide bodies, red eyes are not in the game and the super stock. So let me know down in the comments below what brand do you want me to do next? But Mercedes was definitely one that I wanted to do first. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe, wash your hands and blossom out. Peace. I bring the toast in the back and we going berserk with the guns on the rack and we taking it count to the sound of the crack running from us with the pop and the cause we're making the moves and the sounds the peak calling the shots of looking at me and we taking it count to the flow in the back with a drop in the cash you know this ain't a prank moving like water talking with fire bounce back on the cover to mama's design keep buying the flames like a man on a mission rejected again but you better go listen pop up at billy run up the billy my face on the boards and you all gonna see me i walk my wrist to look guys here's yachty flex in the club trying to really louis hey